Okay, one of the apps that is used as a significant organizing app by most schools is an app called Goodreader. Now, it's this green one over here on the right. Now, there are many apps that do this. Um, if you look up productivity and all those sorts of things on the iPad and the i on the App Store, I should say, there's a whole range of different options. This is just one that we've found has a significant number of features that seems to lend itself the best to how we're doing things in schools at the moment. So Goodreader is, um, it looks like this. Um, and while it looks really complicated, once you understand what's going on, you're sort of able to then have a really good idea of how to use it. So on the left hand side over here, we talk about these are all the files and that that are inside, um, or inside this app. So I can create new files, I can set up new ones. If I have a look in science, I can see all of these ones here. If I have a look in movies, I've got movies in here and I can organize and readjust and have all those sort of set up. Um, and on the right hand side, I've got a whole range of different options down the bottom here. And this is sort of like the accessing side. Um, and I'm gonna talk, sort of take you through a couple of things, which is the most important, which is how do I get stuff um, from my iPad to a location where it can be accessed on a computer? And how do I get stuff from the computer down to the iPad? Now, this process and generally the one that's considered by most schools as being the solution is called WebDAV. So WebDAV is sort of like, you know, and a good reader is sort of like the, the use of it. Um, WebDAV is like having a C drive or a, um, a connection through to shared drives. Um, so if you've got a um, in a school situation, you've got a student drive that's on the network, and when you double click on it on the computer, you can see all your files. This is what it's you know going to give you access to. So think of WebDAV as, I guess, my computer, and my computer then gives you access to all the different shared files. It's not quite right, but it's the best way of explaining it to start with. So say if I wanted to go and grab a folder or a file out of my um, out of my um, shared drives. If you have a look on here, I've got this um, thing called John 23rd. Um, and on the right, I'm going to click the little tab here. Um, and then you'll see all of my details in relation to where it is, what's the address. So it's just like a web address and my username and my passwords and all those sorts of things. Um, and that's what I have to use. So if your school has set up or your son or daughter goes, I can't get access to it, it's because they haven't set up their web dev. When I tap it here, you see I've got all of my access to all of my files. So I can see my staff Dropbox, my staff home folder. So in other words, if I click on my staff home folder, I can see that's my name. And then inside there is all the folders that I have on there. So in other words, um, it wouldn't make many uh, any difference at all. If I wanted to grab um, this image down, let's have a look at... Um, this Hawker Brown's education dress list, I would tap it once and then I would click on the download option here and I would download it into my downloads folder say and then go download folders from here. I go close, if I go to downloads, there's my document there and I can open it up and have a look at it. So that's the address that I'd saved into there. Similar sort of process if I want to upload something, okay? So if I tap on something to look at it, that's in the logo, I can go back into my folder here. I'm gonna go on to John 23rd, my home space, okay. I'm gonna go into here, into here again. And if you notice at the moment, it's given me an upload button. Only when I tap something, does it change to a download, okay. So in other words, if I wanna, um, if I wanna upload something to here, so I've got a folder in here, I click upload. I wanna put this movie into here, then go upload a picture or that video. It does that and puts it into there for me. And then I can go to a computer and access it as well. So that's sort of the most fundamental basic use of um, Goodreader. So in other words, I can continue to go through um, and drop stuff up here. I want to upload into, say, my um, into my home drive again. Um, and I'm going to put up there more files. I can tap multiple ones and then click upload three items. And if you notice, it actually doesn't really care what size it is. Like the problem with at the moment when we're sending stuff and receiving stuff from each other is we try and send it all through email. Now that's fine as a generic sort of little file, but when you have a look at these ones, they're quite large. So you can't actually expect to be able to send that through an email account. So you have to have some other function. The majority of schools um, have this web dev set up and it allows you to put those into your folder and have access to them from a computer or anywhere else. So that's the first step of web dev moving files and having them there. 
Um, the last sort of section in here is like managing files. So in other words, I can create a new folder if I wanted to. So new folder, just like on a computer, and you'll see that it's there. I can then move files if I you know click it and move um, it into uh, movies, say, and then go move that file to there. And in that movies folder, there would be something inside there then um, that I can have a look at and there's that new folder that I just created. It gives me the times and the dates and all those sorts of things. If I wanted to uh, manage my files under manage file settings, I can tap five or these four videos here. I can then click um, move on the right over here and I can move them into that new folder in that section. Okay, So it's a simple way of sort of mucking around with your file structures. I can find a file, I can preview some files, um, I can download off the internet, um, and I've got connect to servers and that as well.